If you're an aficionado of the supernatural, the paranormal, or the downright weird, you've most likely heard of the sound that just came out of my throat. <coughs> its largest stockholder was clothing manufacturer Olive, Win <coughs> Olive Winchester. There's a cat at the door. That's why there's such a fucking long pause here. <clears throat> <sighs> Commonly known as the gun that won the West. Uh, that was a big one. Jesus. His sonic successor, William Wirt Winchester, also died of tuberculosis. <laughs> Try that again. <sighs> Take two. Between 1880 and 1881, Sarah lost three close family members. <coughs> and my voice lost itself. <coughs> Take a sip of wealth, yeah. <coughs> okay, I'm gonna go back up one. Whew. Shortly before his death, William made out bank drafts to his wife, totaling $7,500. <laughs> I didn't read that right the first time. It came out like $75,000. That's not right. <clears throat> Ouch. I'm going to burp again. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> <sighs> she henceforth controlled 777 Winchester Repeating Arms Company shares, which were valued at $77,700. It's a lot of sevens, and I said that all weird. Winchester decided to move to California, which was touted at the time. <coughs> <coughs> Jesus. <coughs> Try that again. Fucking A. Once in California, Winchester found euthanasian mead. Once in California, Winchester found euthanasia mead. Euthanasia. Why am I saying it like that? <sighs> Count three, third time's term. She hired local people to staff the house and farm, many of whom who were... F f Within the first six months, Ignafo estimates that the house had increased in size due to 26... Do? Where did I even get that word from? I have to fart. Hold on. Don't tell anybody. Mm-mm. <sighs> She attended expositions that inspired her interior and exterior design, as was typical of the time. Try that again. <sighs> she focused on her construction project instead of giving in to local rumors and rumors, local rumors. <sighs> As we discussed previously, the windows were unusual since they are pastel colored, asymmetrical in their design, and have very sharp bevels. The windows on the upper levels had a spiderweb tracery, a popular design then. The windows to the right and left of the brick fireplace feature Shakespeare and Queer. I already, already talked about this. So let's cut all this out. Yeah, cut that out. Winchester would take breaks from construction on a regular basis to rest, sometimes for months, since she tired easily. It slowed construction considerably, and is counter to the claims made in articles and by tour guides that she had the house under construction around the clock for 38 years until her death in 1922. Here, we'll do that all over again. And no one named Adam Coons could be found. 
Let me say that again because I think I bumped the mic. La, 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 la. Whew. There's an airplane. Wait till that goes over again. It, it amazes me what gets picked up on this microphone. I'm not going to lie. No. Okay. <sighs> an ex... An excerpt... Excerpt... <laughs> An article in the San Jose Daily News from March 29, 1895. If she wants to build a castle on her premises near Campbell, she should be permitted to do so without ascribing her motives to foolish superstitions. Motives. That's good. I'm getting a headache. I'm going to 10 more pages ago. If she wants to build a castle on her premises near Campbell, she should be... Jesus fuck. Take 12. The barred bin... The barred bindos. <clears throat> I'm gonna take a sip of water, okay? Whew. <clears throat> <clears throat> <sighs> There were also claims that Winchester held parties for the spirits in her home that featured lavish dishes served on gold plates, kept in a safe... That was really worded weird, sorry. Oh my god. There were also claims that Winchester held parties for the spirits in her home that featured lavish dishes served on gold plates kept in a safe are fanciful and unsubstantiated. It's the way it's worded. In addition to the lack of records found about seances at Lanata Villa, in addition to the lack of records found about seances, <laughs> <sighs> Additionally, it is common for large rambling and drafty old houses to have temperature variations, and the house's settling and exterior temperature changes can explain odd noises. Third time's a charm. <sighs> the story in the 2001 miniseries Rose Red, which if you haven't watched, please do because it's fantastic. It's it's one of my favorites, and I've watched it a million times, but which was created by Stephen King, was inspired by the large surrounding Sarah... Ooh, fuck that up. Try that one again. The Haunting of Winchester is a ghost story musical by composer Greg... Not Greg. The Haunting of Winchester is a ghost story musical by composer Greg... Greg, I did it again. Craig Bomler. In 2011, for the fourth episode of season five of Ghost Adventures, the Winchester Mystery House was featured. Try that again. In 2017, features of the house are referenced in I, the Mighty Song. Try that again. In 2017, filming took place on the property for the film Winchester, featuring Helen Mirren as Sarah Winchester. Really? Bing! In 2017, filming took place on the property for the film Winchester, featuring Helen Mirren as Sarah Winchester. Yeah, that was coming. Oh my god. <laughs> In January 2021, an episode of the award-winning podcast, This Paranormal Life, was released discussing the Winchester Mystery House. Disgusting? Let's not write that. 
Could it be due to the fictitious tales that are consistently told, creating a haunting in and of itself to the root? Can't even fucking talk. I wrote that. The last of these little. So, try that again. As for me, I think I would like for it to actually be haunted, and like I said, maybe there is something to it as far as a thought form goes, meaning us human beings have created our own sort of haunting with our beliefs, but I don't think any spooky occurrences have anything to do with Sarah and her construction of the house itself, nor does it have anything to do with the potential curse due to her husband's involvement with a weapons company and what weapons are notorious for doing, but I could be wrong. Let me try that all over again. Re-record that last bit. 